We've shown you a do-it-yourself approach to Google Playifying your existing HTC One, but sometimes there's just no substitute for unboxing the real article. I'm Michael Fisher. You know what I'm getting at. This is Pocket Now. This is the Google Play edition of the HTC One. Let's unbox it. Okay, folks, so here's the box. You can see it's the same size and shape as a regular HTC One box that you would get from your carrier, except we're seeing the uh, the Google branding and obviously some different software pictured on the front. On the back, we'll flip it around. We can take a look, uh, get a little close shot of the specs they're calling out here. Thoughtfully, they've not included the version number on Android so that they can they don't have to change the packaging every time they ship the device with a new version of Android. This particular device comes to us from HTC, so we thank them for that. Otherwise, we're seeing very, very familiar uh, specs called out here on the back. Let's flip it on over and get to opening the device up. Now, there's no seal on this device, so when we lift up on the cover, it should just come right off, and that feels like that's what it's doing. And boom, not quite front and center, but front and side mounted on the HTC One here. You can see obviously no carrier branding on this wrap, just HTC One device feels very, very similar in the hand as you might expect. I'm gonna put this aside for a second and see what's included. These earbuds don't have Beats branding on them, but they are finished in the Beats colors of uh, red and black. Some little protectors here on the side to uh, to preserve the gloss. You know, some people like to see these out of the package, so just so you can see, this is a little rubbery insert, as you might see on uh, Samsung earbuds. We got callouts for left and right. Those thing, that thing is sticky there, and a little button on the uh, on the throat switch there. So put that aside, and it looks like all we've got left are a uh, this is a micro USB and power adapter. <laughs> some uh, warranty information there, but also some HTC stickers if you want to go ahead and put those on your car or uh, maybe your sound booth window or uh, wherever. And uh, this is just some information on inserting the micro SIM card warranty statement there and the SIM removal tool. Otherwise, we've got an empty box with the exception of the uh, extra earbud gels. So let's pop this aside, get that out of the way, and come back to the phone. Here's the device itself, back front and center, feeling very familiar in the hand, as we said before. We'll see if we can take this envelope off of here. Put that aside gently so that we can put it back in there. And no screen protector besides that. So here we are, HTC One Sprint Edition on the left, HTC One Google Play Edition on the right. As you can see, we're looking pretty identical here, which shouldn't be a surprise to anyone at all. Of course, the real story here is in the software, and to have a look at that, we're going to see if we can power this device on. We'll press and hold on the power standby and see what kind of splash screen we get. There's the Google branding right there. And as this powers up, we'll uh, take the opportunity to tell you that next week we'll have some editorial and video content on this device. Maybe not a straight comparison between the two. Oh, that's nice. But certainly um, certainly some, some coverage that we will do our best to keep original for you, as we always do. And there's our welcome screen, prompting us to choose our primary uh, interface language, finished in the Android Hollow, the stock Android Hollow design language, not at all the HTC Sense skin on the HTC One. So, very, very quick and dirty unboxing of the HTC One Google Play Edition, which we will be talking about quite a bit. Folks, we're going to have a lot more on the Google Play Edition HTC One next week at Pocket Now, so stay tuned for that, and make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow us on social media so you do not miss it. In the meantime, if you want to find out how to make your own HTC One a Google Play device or get it as close as possible to that status, check out the video linked in the outro. In the meantime, drop us a like if you did enjoy the video, leave us a comment if you have something useful to say, and thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.